Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. So we all know that the world is in shambles right now. Everyone, or hopefully everyone, majority of people I should say, is self-quarantining themselves to help reduce the spread of the virus. And that's what I've been doing, and I've been stuck in my house for a long freaking time, and I'm bored. So, I was brainstorming, trying to figure out some stuff to do. Man, this beer is getting really long. And I realized that there's this one form of entertainment that I have not picked up, and that is TikTok. Now, the only thing I've really seen of TikToks were reposted videos from TikTok to Twitter. I've never downloaded the app. I've never opened it on another person's phone. Now, because this is a streetwear DIY channel, I'm gonna go on TikTok and look up streetwear DIYs and just try to follow them. Now, of course, there will be a challenge since I'm self-quarantining myself. I'm restricted to using only materials, tools, fabrics, or whatever to what I can find in my house. Okay, so we're here on the app. We're on TikTok, guys. Now, I'm not gonna go on the homepage because I'm not trying to get copyrighted. So we're on the Discover page. Let's type up uh, streetwear DIYs. See what we got. How to bleach tie-dye a shirt. Okay. Hey, I'm down though. Let's do it. This butterfly shirt was the one that I decided to use for this DIY. Personally, I'm not feeling the butterfly, which is the main reason why I chose to use it. No hate though, of course. First off, I had to twist up the shirt, which was a little bit more difficult than I originally thought, especially after watching the guy do it on TikTok. This was my first time twisting up a shirt like this for anything. I mean, I always say that, right? It's my first time to blah, 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 but hey, it's true. It also didn't help that I was trying to do this on a small space on my counter. I messed up so many times before I finally came to my senses. And I just did this on the floor. Okay, so this next part of the video is going to be a little experiment it's going to be more like those those nature building videos where it's more like asmr-esque you know what i mean where it's all just sound so there's no voiceover or anything just an experiment tell me what you guys think about it in the comments below if you guys like it or don't like it if you want me just voiceover because it's too quiet or something let me know Wow, that's orange. I think one is enough, actually. Ah, oh. and then I'm actually going to... Okay. Yo, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Yo, it's sick.
All right, let's find another one. DIY custom hoodie. A sewing machine. It's a lot of sewing. Eh. Tie-dye tutorial. Uh, I don't, dude, I don't really like tie-dyeing to be honest. Next, part one. Ooh, so, oh, that's kind of cool. Made an outline and then a hand stitched outline. That's kind of cool, actually. Hmm. It's a little weird that I'm commentating what I'm doing even though I'm following another person's DIY video, but I'm doing it anyways. First off, I created the flame outline based on the same outline the person in the video used. When that was finished, I cut it out with my X-Acto knife. You know, low-key, I had flashbacks when I had to cut out 173 letters individually in my last DIY. Yo, that was rough. I took a white chalk pencil and drew the outline around the sleeve. In the video, the person started at the cuff opening, but since mine wasn't the same width as the sleeve, I started after the cuff. While hand stitching, I did the back stitch method, but altered it a bit in order to save some thread and especially time. Let's find one more airbrushing work so I had to hand paint it. Okay. Ooh, we put trimmings on his hoodie. That's pretty cool. Hmm. I know this sweater isn't dark gray, but it's the only gray sweater I would use for this DIY. Also, not to beat around the bush, this DIY was a fail. It looked like in the TikTok, the guy used a thicker thread, maybe yarn or something to create his trimmings. Unfortunately, the closest thing I had to that was white sewing thread, which is significantly thinner. I figured that if I sewed each trimming multiple times that it would make it more visible. It really didn't. Now I know that this DIY is possible to do with this thread, but I would have to use a lot, like the whole roll, and I'm not really down to do that and waste it, so I'm gonna just take this L. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I actually had another one, but that was another fail, so I'm not gonna put that in the video. These DIYs were pretty time consuming, especially the hand stitching ones. So if you do have time to kill, there you go. Honestly, the DIY where she hand stitched the outline was pretty dope. Like if you do that to the whole hoodie, not bad. I mean, like the flames on the sleeve already looks pretty clean. Also, give me some feedback as well about the whole primitive technology-esque segment of this video. Was it too quiet? Do you need some music in the background? I don't know. I thought it was pretty chill when I was editing it. But yeah, let me know. I'm always down to change it up. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Hit that sub button too. I'd really appreciate it. You know, speaking of subs, I'm almost at 10K. I know it's not that much, especially in comparison to like, you know, people with millions of subs or whatever, but yo. It's such a milestone for me. <laughs> but thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys for subbing. If you are subbed, I really appreciate it. Hope you guys are healthy. Hope you guys are staying inside. You know, the sooner we all stay inside, the sooner we can get out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.